Using R as a basic calculator is easy. Just as there are function keys on calculators to calculate the square root exponent of a value, there are functions in R to help you with your computations. First, the order of operations. R follows it. This is also known as operator precedent. It's a collection of rules that reflect conventions about which procedures to perform first in an order to evaluate a given mathematical expression. The order is as follows. Brackets, exponents and roots, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Here's an example of how R follows the order of operations. Next, let's use the absolute value function to take the absolute value of negative 88, which returns 88. Next, let's take the base 10 logarithm of 72 using the log 10 function. We can check the log function by raising 10 to the 1.85 power. Let's compute the exponential function. We can use the exponential function and pass in the value of 1.45. Let's do a quick problem. Let's assign year born to 1984, year current to 2014, and compute your age. Is age greater than or equal to 18? It's true. We're given the area of a circle. Let's compute the radius. So you went out to lunch with your friend and the bill was $45.90. We want to compute the following to two decimal places. First, the subtotal and add New York City tax of 8.875%. Compute a 15% tip on the subtotal. Then compute 20% tip on the subtotal. Well, our bill is $45.90. Our tax rate, again, is 8.875. We're going to round that to two decimal places. The 15% tip is 57.47. 20% tip is 59.97.